Hello, how are you today? <laughs> I am just going to have some crafty fun and I thought maybe you might want to just join me. Um, I haven't done a live in a little while. So I wanted to just do one while I was working on my uh, DT kit. I'm not sure, hopefully um, you're seeing it correctly. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> All right, so this is a Pollyanna, Pollyanna Pickering, and it's a beautiful kit. Let's see, Pollyanna Pickering. It's a beautiful kit. There's just so many beautiful pictures of wildlife in this kit. It's just unbelievable. But today, I thought I would just um, focus on making three cards. So that's what I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna do. I was gonna show you the website if I can get my um, tablet to come on where you can order from because this is uh, the Crafty Witches. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, these, this card here, <laughs> it's actually a four by six. It's not a five by seven. Um, in the U.S., it's uh, you. You have to really. Think about the size of your cards when you mail it. If you do square cards, which I do all the time, you have to pay extra. All right, so I just wanted to show you. This is uh, the paper that I picked, but there are so many pretty papers. I printed up several just to kind of show you. <laughs> so here's sentiments, uh, different color sentiments. I love this paper right here. This is like one of my favorite right there. And so here's some of the images, but I did want to show you something. In the U.S., our paper is eight and a half, um, eight and a half by eleven, I believe. And in the U.K., the paper is slightly longer. So if you don't adjust your print size, it's going to cut off. So you see here, I have adjusted my print size. Um, I changed it to ninety percent. So that's something you might want to keep in mind. But um, here's some more paper. <laughs> The beauty of a digital kit, for example, see this cut off down here. So I just flipped it over and printed <laughs> again. This is another one of my favorite papers. And this is um, strips, like washi tape strips, but on paper. And then this is beautiful. Now I printed um, matte finish, even though this was, um, this is my cardstock. I'm going to show you the difference. Let me pull out a sheet of paper. Okay, so this right here, oops, I might have messed up my cards. This right here is not matte. I didn't select matte. So here's the difference. This one I did select matte. So see how the intensity is darker, but I wanted it the lighter color. So if you know you want your image a little bit lighter, you can just use the standard print but if you want it very intense then pick matte now if you are using um, gloss paper which is beautiful too because these are photographs uh, you know pick the glossy print so here we go so here's just a few more just to kind of show you I'm not showing the whole kit it's just it's huge <laughs> here's the one I love the squirrel oh my gosh is that not fabulous that is just beautiful I just love that See, it, it just prints out so nicely. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. All right, and um, there is another kit that I love <laughs> called the Golden Years. I was hoping to play with that next time, so I just wanted to kind of show you. I think it's so cute. All right, so let's just go ahead and get started um, with this kit. Let me move everything back off. <laughs> what I like is the variety of the kit that... You know, like these sentiments are just, I love these. They're beautiful. Um, so anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. Now what you can do, you could mat this, of course, um, if you wanted. You could put a, um, from the collection, there are 
uh, solid papers, so you could map this. But for this particular card, I'm not going to. Let me see, hopefully my glue <laughs> will work. Yeah, I'm off work, so I just thought I would do a couple of lives on my page. It's been so long since I've done them. Done them. I think since maybe um, my last little break. So. <laughs> so here we go. And I'm just using art glitter glue. I like it because it's repositional until it dries. It's, you know, you can uh, take your time to kind of line things up because I do have problems with that. <laughs> I, uh, I have a problem keeping things straight sometimes. I have um, two different lenses in my eyes, one for distance and one for up close. And so it makes it hard when I do fine work to actually focus. <laughs> All right, so what I did is just cut this out into a circle, which you can use your scan and cut, and I've done that, and I love using my scan and cut. In fact, there is um, SVG files that I would like to work with next. But this image here, I'm just gonna show you. This image here, see it's really the same. Let's see, which one is, oh, it's this one right here, see? It's really the same pose as this one. So, but what I did is I took this one here and cut it out because I didn't want the big green today, although that is absolutely stunning. I wanted to use the leaves, so, because I wanted a bit of contrast. <laughs> anyway, and see, I flipped my paper over because it didn't print the way I wanted, and no one is the wiser. So don't let your paper go to waste. Paper's so expensive. Don't do that. <laughs> no one is the wiser. Now I'm gonna pop this up. So I have a little bit of dimension right here. What I like to use a lot of times is foam. I have some uh, foam, fun foam is what it's called, and I'll cut a circle out with it, but I didn't want to keep you guys waiting since I said I was gonna do my live at 10. So normally I would cut out a circle with my fun foam and put it behind it. Now my um, Gemini that I have sometimes does not cut the very best so I'm just kind of flicking just trying to get my little make sure that these are um, popped out I should have ran it through probably twice there we go so I'm just popping them out because it shows up when you put it on your card so it's the little things that matter there we go so I always go ahead and glue this down as well because um, your backing on the foam does dry out. All right, so let's try to center this. I hope I'm on camera. Let's center that. And I see a couple more that I want to poke out. Anyway, I'm having fun hanging out with you today for a little bit before I go and do all the things I have planned for spring break, which is cleaning. <laughs> all right, so pop that up. And now, if we look, I want to put a sentiment on the bottom. So I want to look through and just see what do I have. I really like, I really like these ones right here. So I really like that. So I think I'm going to use one of these and uh, make this the backing paper is what I think I'm going to do. Although, see you have this in multiple colors, so I could have printed it in green, which would have been quite lovely too. I'm looking through and see if I have another sentiment on a different paper that I might wanna use. Just double checking, no. Okay, so we are gonna use one of these right here. And I am gonna use a birthday greetings. Um, I was looking for my other scissors that are a little bit longer <laughs> now we have a person on our team oh my gosh she can cut so well she cuts straight so well I am not as good at that <laughs> I, I do try but I do have problems with that <clears throat> there we go now 
do off to the side. And there we go. Now, I love digital kits because you can, I keep these in my, in little file folders. All my extras, I keep in file folders. And then you have them anytime you need to make a card. So that's what I really love about a digital kit is that you can you can purchase this <laughs> and put it away you know make some cards put it away and in six months you can print it back out and make another card or as many cards as you need and if somebody um, likes what you've done they might ask you could you make them a set of cards and, and you certainly can so here we go what I do is I buy little boxes. You can make your own boxes, of course, but we have a Dollar Tree <laughs> where everything's a dollar twenty-five. It's kind of a joke. It's the dollar twenty-five tree, and you can buy little boxes. And I make gift sets of cards for my daughter-in-laws. You know, I, I make um, like birthday cards and get well cards. So you just want to kind of see where you want that. So I'm going to pop that up. So I just really wanted to show you how quick <laughs> you can put together a card and you can make it very personal. Something that is also with this kit, I didn't print it up, are letters. So you could actually, I could put a person's name across here. I could have put, like my daughter's name, Kyra. I could have printed out the letters and had her name on the kit. So you can personalize your cards too. I think that's that's what's really nice. <laughs> anyway, what are you guys doing today? Are you enjoying your spring break if you're on spring break from school? I hope that you're doing something fun. My son is on spring break and my daughter was on it last week because I work at a different school than they both attend and they both attend different schools from each other and so our breaks were not together. Now, so that's how quick you can put together a card, but now you want to do your embellishments. Let me, I'm still trying to get my um, tablet to come on so I can show you this wonderful website. Let me press it a little harder. All right, so what I want to do is use these. There, it's coming on. And I'm going to... Now you can buy clear ones and you can color them any color you want. I got these also at our Dollar Tree. <laughs> but I, I picked them up because I actually thought this green here was, um, I liked it. I thought that green would go very well. So what I'm going to do is just put a dab of glue where I want this on each corner just to give it a little bit of bling. Now if you're going to mail this card, then you probably do not want to do this because anything hard will not go through the machine. You have to have it hand stamped and um, they don't like to do that. <laughs> what I do is you can pay extra to have it hand stamped and what I do is then I put a piece of cardboard over the top to, con to protect my um, card. Oh, that one did not come off right. But the problem with um, sending cards with like embellishments like this is sometimes they get kind of smushed down so you might want to make a little box to send cards all right so here we go so this is one card completed I don't know we did it in just a really a few minutes it didn't take very long what I did is it's four four by six cards so I cut out a four by six background paper I used my circle die uh, and then a larger circle die to make the mat. Now, ideally, I would have put a mat behind this one as well because I do like my cards to kind of match. All right, so I want to see if I can show you the website uh, so you can see how beautiful this kit is. Uh, let me see if it's on the website. So I'm just going to go and look and see. If it's not, we'll move on. It, it was on their television yesterday in the UK. They had a big event. Uh, Linda, who is over Linda Chapman, who's the head witch, she's fabulous, had a, a wonderful um, 
event on TV where they were selling the kit. So it's the Crafty Witches in the UK. So let me see if I can go to it. Here it is. This is the website, the Crafty Witches. So here's the website. I hope that's showing up on the screen. Um, and you can visit the store, but you can see there's um, cutting files and paper craft, digital, digital kits. Um, there's just all sorts of stuff. This Elemental Nesting SVG Volume 1 download is fabulous. Just fabulous. Uh, here's the New Beginnings, which is what this kit is. And it's Pollyanna Pickering. So I just want to show you the main screen because look at this. Uh, just beautiful. It's just it's just beautiful, all the um, choices that you have. Let's see if it's going to, here we go. So you can pick, actually this is the New Beginnings kit here. And you see it has the um, giraffe and has the tiger, the lions. That's the New Beginnings one. There's different kits from uh, Pollyanna Pickering. So you have to pick the whichever kit it is you want. Oh, I love this. The night owl over here. <laughs> so all you have to do is go on the website and you can just see all the different selections they have. So here's, you can pick like Pollyanna Pickering and all her items come up. So it's just beautiful. So just lovely. Anyway, I wanted to show you that because sometimes you don't know where to go to get the items. All right, so let's do another card. <laughs> And I am thankful you're hanging out with me. All right, so behind me, I want to show you. We're going to do two more cards. It's so perfect. <laughs> I did kind of mess it up when I brought this piece of paper over, though. But I wanted to show you <laughs> an even simpler card, okay? You can't get any simpler than this. This is the insert right here. This is the outside, all right? <laughs> So you cannot get any simpler than just using this card right here. So what I'm going to do, just using this to make a card is what I mean. What I'm going to do, uh oh, I banged my camera. I apologize. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, hopefully this lines up okay, take my big cutter. I need to get a little, a little one of these. I think that would help me a lot with my lining things up if I had a smaller one. I think that they do make smaller ones. My husband bought me this for Christmas. <laughs> All right, so you cannot get any simpler than this card right here. So what you would want to do, I hope I have it out, is take your scoreboard like this. And I have to use my scoreboard so that I, I don't like the crease in my card because it breaks it if you do it by hand. So just do it like this. Come on down. Oh, I went off track. I normally do this standing up. All right. So then you just take it and you fold it like that. Now, how, you cannot get a simpler card than that. <laughs> It's already basically made for you right here. You don't even have to do all the cutting out that I did. All right, so what we're going to do is make this. This is going to be our card. <laughs> How perfect is that? This is going to be the inside. And with this kit on this page, they actually have calendars that you can make a little calendar set as a gift, which is perfect. Now, you don't have to glue this down. You could leave it where it's open if you had uh, if you were doing this on vellum paper I would leave it where you just have it um, kind of glued you know where it kind of flops open I think that would look very nice all right so I'm not lining this up very well let me that's why I like this glue you can go in here and you can kind of you can line it up before you say that you're happy with it I feel like it's off a little bit. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's see, it's off just a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of reposition this. This is what I do when I'm making cards. I 
I make mistakes. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim just a little bit off the edge. I'm just going to take a small smidgen bit. Oh, my cutter is knocked up. Okay. This happens to me. you got to try to make sure you line everything up. I don't know. I have, like I said, a little issues with that. I'm going to take just a minute. There we go. There we go. Like that. Now we have our card. So I'm just going to trim it one more time. There we go. That's the beauty. You can do it until it lines up perfect. There we go. So now it's lined up and it has a spot for your sentiment. And I actually already cut one out. So you could. You can either glue that down or you could pop it up a little bit, which is what I'm going to do. Now, if I were going to make this card not, you know, for live, but I was going to send this to my friend, I would take a little bit more time and I would print this on vellum paper so that it it would just be so pretty. And you, they actually have this in a mooded one as well, but I wanted you to see the, how pretty this image is. So I would have used vellum paper and then probably some ribbon on the card or twine as well. So you could make this as fancy or as simple as you want. You don't have to leave it just as is. So popping that up gives it a little bit of dimension. Now on this card, you could again, if you want to put some embellishments on it, you could. I like the, the way it is because I like the this little corner decoration, but what you could do is you could cut out this image again and make it 3D. So you could cut this out in a square and put it on top, just like we did here, and that would make it 3D. And that would be absolutely, I think that would be beautiful. So two quick cards, and I have one more for us. Um, I kind of grabbed the paper though, so I hope that, <laughs> I hope I still have it here. So this image is, let me get this out. Oh my goodness. I hope I didn't cut my paper. Oh, here it is. Here's the paper. <laughs> That's the paper we're going to use. All right, so this image, let me show it to you. This image is this right here. That's this image that we're going to use. And I cut it into thirds. Now, this did not print up because I didn't make it smaller for the U.S. size it cut off but this part of the card is still you know that's perfectly good to use so i'm going to keep it all right so this is actually a six and a half by six and a half card so let's go ahead and make this card i actually thought what would look good is ink smudging on the edges with say um like a pine type of green i think that would be lovely on this card but for the live, I wanted to have the, I think it shows up having the white trim a little bit better than um, doing the ink smudge. All right, so the thing is you have to make sure you get this lined out correctly. And there we go. Is that correct? I may have used my little piece of paper. Okay. Um, I think I have another little piece of paper cut someplace. I might have used it. <laughs> I might have used it when I made a sentiment. That might be what happened. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to recut this one piece out. So I'm going to just glue this down. I'm just going to kind of glue this down like this. And I am going to take my cutter. It's huge, I know. <laughs> so I'm going to take my cutter, and I apologize for the noise that it makes. And kind of line that up. And line that up. Yeah, I probably used my paper without thinking at, for the backing on a sentiment while we were talking. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this all down. 
And again, you can make these cards as elaborate as you want or as simple as you want. And I feel like um, they're equally as beautiful. But I like to show you really the simplicity of these cards and how beautiful they are. Oh, I bet that one that I cut was really from here. Because see, yep. I see, I just had my pieces mixed up a little bit. But that's okay. We're going to use this and I'm going to just trim it for a moment. So put this one here. Now you could, again, use fun foam and really pop these up a lot if you wanted. So I'm going to cut this just a little bit, trim it just a little bit more. You can mat... I actually love matting like two times. I like have double matted. I think that looks really good. So if I were going to send this card out, I would probably do another mat behind the mat. All right, so what you want to do is kind of space it out. So you want to sort of line it up. Isn't that a beautiful image? I, I just think that is just so, so pretty. Just, just beautiful, stunning, <laughs> just stunning. I was looking for my roll. I have a roll of um, tape that I would rather use, but I don't see it at the moment. <laughs> I was getting my little girl off to school before the live, so I'm kind of, kind of hurried instead of taking my time. So again, I had didn't like the way it printed out, so I turned the paper around and reprinted, and nobody will be the wiser. So don't waste your paper. Go ahead and use it because it's just, it's too pricey. <laughs> I don't know about you, but getting paper here where I live is very difficult. Very, very difficult to get it. All right. So what I normally do is I do the end pieces first so I can kind of, um, kind of eyeball like that. So I do the two ends first. I love the yellow. I just think this yellow flower in this image is just, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Now when I printed this um, and I used the matte setting, even though I used the matte setting, um, see this one came out slightly darker than that just ever so slightly not a lot but ever so slightly and I think the more I use my printer actually the darker my images become I think I need to use my printer to keep the ink flowing and I have an old Epson oh, I forget the number it's one of the older ones and I love it it's the best printer I've ever had in my life and behind me I have a Canon which is a crafting printer and it does not print these image images as nicely as my Epson. So I always use my Epson and the ink, you know, it's, it doesn't take a lot of ink. It has the uh, tank and that is just so economical. So I'm just saying that in case you've been thinking about getting a printer, look at the cost of your ink and whether it's economical or not before buying a printer printer <laughs> all right put this one on these are my favorite these um ones that you can kind of do in thirds oh my gosh I I just I don't know I I love this style <laughs> I just love it all right so now what we want is an image going across the bottom. I wish I would have printed up the green because I printed up the um, kind of um, rusty color because I think green would have looked really good across here. But what we're gonna do is use um, this, it's kind of a gunmetal black. It's not really black, it's a gunmetal, I think. And I'm gonna do birthday. And I'm doing a lot of birthday because I am making cards for foster care, children in foster care. I just sent off my cards for this year, so I'm already making my cards for next year. I made um, 
22 cards this year to send off and my goal next year is actually to double that because I didn't know about the program when I first made the cards. I just heard about it in March and that the deadline was in March. <laughs> but now I'm going to double that for next year. So see, I think that that will look so pretty, but I want to pop that up and I want to use the same mat that I used up here. So I'm just going to take this and do like that. So this allows you to be kind of creative without having to get all your inks out and your platforms to stamp. And um, this is just kind of a nice quick way to make a card. And I love digital, digital art. In fact, I'm really seriously thinking of not purchasing any more physical dies just use the um, SVG downloads of, of mats and, and things. All right, so here is our card. And I did, I didn't pop this one up like I did this. Now, you can add embellishment if you wanted with this card. Uh, you know, the, the um, little beads. I don't think there's really an, I don't know. I think it's, I don't know if that would look good on this one having the, black or not I do now but you could add it you could put one here like that and you could put one over here like that it's not really kind of up to you how many you would want I think the black is very pretty I know this is an even number and they say don't use an even number right <laughs> I don't know I could put I could do where I have three. Let me look. Let's see how that will look. <laughs> These are teeny tiny ones. These are probably from uh, Joann's. And if you're in the U.S., you need to go by your Joann's. You need to go by your Hobby Lobby. They are um, reducing, and it was already small, they are reducing the size of the paper crafting area and everything is just really marked down because they're doing away with it which is just to me incredibly sad at Hobby Lobby they're going to expand their silhouette items and their seasonal items and I'm not sure what they're doing at um, Joann's, why they're reducing it. All right, so I do kind of like it with the dots, I think. All right, so that was very, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes that we did the three cards. And then this one, we didn't really have to do anything. It was already basically made. It has Pollyanna's um, signature on the back. And you could, like I said, really, I think this would be stunning if you cut this image out and put it on top, which is what I'm going to do later today before I actually mail this one out. So I'm going to print this sheet again, and I'm going to do that. And then I think actually what I might do is go ahead and print that on vellum and kind of redo that one a little bit. All right, so three cards very quickly. And I just think they, are, I don't know, the artwork is just so beautiful. I think I've already mailed off my other ones that I had made from Pollyanna. I might have included that with the um, cards for the foster kids. I wish I had held back a couple so I could show you how beautiful they are <laughs> because they were just stunning. All right. Well, you have a fabulous day, and I hope that um, you join me later this week. I'm going to do... Um, two more lives this week and I posted them on my Facebook page. You have a wonderful day. I, I'm going to make you dizzy. <laughs>
Ha <laughs> ha